Hey guys, it's your boy if you're back with more Mall of Jivet content and I thought I would just put some spotlight on my strongest tier 4 in the game right now on my account. I've got 6 tier 4s at the moment and she is the monstrous one. I got her recently, she is my latest tier 4 about a month ago and honestly she has so many uses that I actually did not... Uh, realize that I was gonna have so much fun with that. So she has about like four or five Odin's blessings. Rest of them, I actually have the HP Odin's blessings, which I need to take them out. So she's only running with four or five Odin's blessing. Thor, hands down the best striker in the game as well for this girl. I don't have her artifact, so I can definitely do a lot better. I have a normal rage, a mythic uniform, and just the last uniform option with all attack. So I got a bunch of things to cover up. I have a bunch of things to improve on this girl, but she is already insane. So I'm just gonna not take much of her time and let's just jump on to the content and the gameplay wise. So I have a bunch of runs for you. So first of all, uh, we have the world boss legend runs. We have null Ultron. I guess we also have God. And then we are gonna have the female villain ABX day, which is today. Uh, so. Basically, she's insane. Okay, she is incredibly insane with whatever she does. She is uh, the best, I would say, tier four in the whole game at the moment. And honestly, even if you have Black Bolt, Black Bolt don't have this many uses. And the reason is very simple: you have Jean Grey, which also have the hero uniforms, while Black Bolt, on the other hand, actually only has the villain one, which is more useful. You can probably try the other uniform as well, but Black Bolt is not gonna work that way. And the best part about Jean Grey is that basically you can just spam out, you can save your tier 3 sometimes if you want to, and she still performs the best. She's a monster and she does everything. The only thing I think I could not include in this video was the GBR run. Uh, and the reason was basically I used Jean Grey already in the GBR, so I could not even try her out. Uh, I wanted to, like, I did not think that I was going to make this video, so I mistakenly, you can say, used that. But hopefully... Uh, I can probably show you some day later as well. She is very strong. She is incredible. Uh, even with this build. And my build honestly is not that strong. If you see some people, some top players having this build, they're just insane. And uh, it's not that strong at all. But she basically just one shots. You don't even have to worry about dying anymore. Stay 54 super quickly. It's not even like it's joke. Literally. Now, if you are uh, familiar with this X-Men red uniform, she is also a blast hero mutant which you can use and it's probably the perfect scenario for someone who don't have storm and for uh for someone who doesn't actually spend on the game uh i think it's it's pretty awesome for me as well because i don't have storm storm was a paywall uniform i never could have gotten her so when i got tier 4 jean gray well i thought maybe she could also do the female blast i think hero or i think hero blast female the sort the, that's like sort of like the requirement for stage 45 to 49 uh, Ultron as well and guess what she does she's insane I have climbed all these floors just with Jean Grey literally I have not even worried about dying for a second on these stages she's super strong even with this build even with this super old uniform because this was the first uniform that Jean Grey ever got right after the Phoenix basically uniform then she got the Marvel Girl Universal uniform and honestly the Marvel Girl Universal is not that strong the Blast actually is stronger compared to the Marvel Girl in most of the content and I would say specifically world boss wise. Yes, you can try out the universal as well, but I feel like uh, you're gonna have a better time in specifically world boss legend if you play this uniform and this just works like a charm, okay? This is interesting, this is super cool and she does awesome damage, so... She's a full damn package, just like Iron Man, because Iron Man, that's why actually Iron Man was super useful, because he had the back to basic uniform, which was the best uniform so far, hero, amazing. Then he already had the old superior Iron Man uniform, which of course is an old uniform, but honestly, that is why Iron Man was such on a higher, you know, rank than other tier 4s. Maybe I'll do a tier 4 ranking as well, uh, in the game as well. So... Villain as well as a hero. You can use her as a universal female hero. You can use her as a universal villain. You can use her as a blast female. She is all sort of that. Yes, she being a mutant, she might not be, you might not be able to use her in a lot of the content. Say, uh, you might have some content, say, uh, I don't know. I don't know which one, maybe like some human stages, I guess, which you can use. So I'm going to get some extra damage out of my tier 3 skill right here because he's going to go to the rower right here so we should be able to probably like almost one shot 
this guy after whatever happened so i don't have the i don't actually have the tier 3 on tier 3 skill on so it might take a little bit while uh, because we need two rotations to kill him basically we can't get him down with the normal skills although she does some nice damage like if you have a judgment she will of course do more damage compared to a rage because well judgment does actually help out but we should be able to uh, kill her super quickly actually so it's gonna be really quickly you don't have to worry about dying first of all second thing even if you die uh, you revive right so you can definitely revive as well after that so she's pretty safe super super safe full character to play also uh, even with this build, she does wonders in PvP content as well. She got this stage run easily as well. She does wonders even with a CDP of Rage in PvP, okay, Tamlin Battle. I'm using her basically every single week. And with this uniform, she is out of the world. Like, I have not seen a character so strong to do basically anything in the game and not break a sweat. She's, honestly, she's insane. Absolutely. And like, ev like she should have, right? Like when she was getting a uniform, every one of us was like, okay, she is gonna be the meta breaker. She's gonna be the overall best character in the game. And she actually became. So honestly, I would be kind of disappointed if Thanos is not something like this, you know? Thanos, I think if Thanos is, I would say, uh, say ABL meta replacing Loki, which I think he will be. And also top PVP. Honestly, I would be super, super happy if Thanos actually hap happens to be both, you know, if he can do both the things just like Jean Grey can, because double cost as well. The uniform is probably going to cost a full cost, uh, 2,500 crystals, which is insanely, uh, insanely expensive for basically any player in the game. And I think the expectations, you know, when you... Uh, you know, when you raise the price of a uniform, when you raise the resources that it takes to get that character or the uniform, your expectation grow, right? So if Thanos does not, you know, become this OP, I would be kind of disappointed. Like he has to be the number one gene counter. He has to be the top five, top three PvP now after the update. So I hope that he can do that. Also on top of that, I really, really hope that he becomes the ABL meta as well. Honestly, I'm not sure if I will be able to tier 4 Thanos or not. But like if Jean Grey is doing something like this with the cost that she has and Thanos is probably going to be around the same cost as Jean Grey. So I do feel that Thanos has to become the best, if not the best character in the game after this thing. And with the price and everything, I hope it is. I hope it's not like, like Deadpool last year was a joke. The uniform was really bad. Uh, the only thing that uniform was actually good at uh, was being a tier 4 striker now with, because it has Fracture, the April Fool's uniform, as well as some extra damage in Shadowlands. He was never, he never became the world boss legend monster. He never became the ABX monster. He never became the ABL monster. So Deadpool's uniform definitely was a joke compared to the Gwenpool paywall uniform and kind of ended, ended up being just becoming the leadership for that uniform. So I hope that is not the case uh, for Thanos as well. And I hope that he does definitely pack a punch. And I hope it's just not some really stupid uh, April Fool's joke. <laughs> I would really hope that. Anyways, so she is strong. She's very strong. And honestly, I think I have kind of cracked the code for Jean Grey. Like... I was using a strict rotation before this thing and I was literally barely crossing about 12.5 or something on this day. Now, you will see, I actually crossed about, I almost got like 13.5 million with just doing this. So, I do think that it does matter if you have the 5, 4 and 3rd skill right before the tier 3 skill for the massive massive jump and the massive massive boost to the score definitely but i also think that it's also important to time those skills definitely you have to try and rush to the skills if possible that is probably going to be the best uh, thing that you can do and if you can't really rush through the skills at least keep an eye on the proc as well and try to get the three four five and tier three under the proc although when you try to spam you might go off the scale, you might hit the procs all the time, you might not hit the procs, you might actually miss some procs, you might have delayed procs, you will see in this run as well, I had delayed procs, but definitely like, uh, as you can see, uh, what I'm trying is, I'm trying to get the proc around the tier 4 skill, tier 3 skill, and with the other skills as well. The good thing about Jean Grey is that her tier 4 skill basically charges every rotation, so 
it's incredibly fast and she is insanely strong as well so i'm you can see i'm not wasting any time i'm definitely gonna go for this thing to touch the 12 million i want to cap before the door i could not there was a slightly remaining but that's all right we still have the proc we easily easily cap we still have 30 seconds to go and i do think that i can do even better and i'm still thinking because i have no reforged rages on my account at the moment and once I get, I think Jean Grey might be one of those characters which I might just put the Reforged Rages on, the first one that I have. So, let's see uh, how it rolls out. We are at 13 million at the moment. We are going strong here. Awesome tier 4 skill. And we are able to get 13.3 million with this spam basically. So, all in all, she is, I think, one of the best investment I've made in Marvel Feature Fight. I was kind of uh, uh, scared to spend that much. I think she cost about 7.2, 7.3 thousand uh, carbonadium. So definitely it was expensive. I don't have, I still don't have an artifact. So she's that strong with that build and everything. So I might pick up the artifact if I do the bingo for this girl. Being the universal hero, being the blast hero being the mutant female character being the universal villain she has basically everything uh, a guy can you a player can expect from this type of character this expensive character so totally in love with her i hope thanos does, doesn't disappoint and i will definitely make a probably a comparison video between him and loki and maybe i might compare him to these best characters in the game if he is that good let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Jean Grey Tier 4. And if you are playing with Jean Grey Tier 4, even at Tier 3, she's insane. But Tier 4 is just literally a monster. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.